everybody. I'm just um <laughs> I'm just watching myself on video here. I love it. Like healing and changing ancestral patterns, taking responsibility. This is a good video guys, I recommend it. I'll put a little link up here, alright? So it's only four minutes long, but in this video I just want to say thanks for joining me and welcome to this video and this moment in time, the beautiful now moment of life. I hope you're well today and now tomorrow. So my name is Owen and I'm a radiant, joyful, loving being just like you. Today's video I want to talk about that we are naturally radiant, joyful beings of health by the way. So why do we get sick? Because we start doing unhealthy things. Are we or else we're inherited a whole of unhealthy stuff from our parents who are either on drugs or on the food drugs for years and years and years and they've seriously inhibited and bogified and traumatized their system and their organs and we inherit lymph problems and toxins and pollutants all over the place and our organs of elimination aren't working properly then we might get really sick if we're young but luckily there's a way to fix and cure all that easily but that must sound really weird to people who are conventional oh my god the medical industry but you have to take drugs. You have to take isolated drugs from plants that are highly concentrated. <laughs> nah, guys, to be honest, like I do have a soft heart and I'm not truly making fun of anybody. Like, I am on my journey. But what I want to say is, we are naturally high creatures of happiness and joy. And you've forgotten that. You probably don't see many people who are naturally high. But how many people do you see around you who are very spiritual with their crown chakra open? their heart bursting open like Jesus and they're, they're fit, strong and healthy and vibrant physically they're not poisoning themselves, they're not eating a whole lot of like dead cooked food, no offence to cooked food, I have some too, I'm going to have some in a few minutes there's no judgement from me but cooked food is electromagnetically dead loads of vitamins are destroyed, chemically altered molecularly um, it doesn't have the phytonutrients working properly either if at all, the plant chemical like medicinal value like cooked food is like just, you know, you do it out of habit or else because you're addicted or because you're brainwashed to eat it all the time growing up when every single other non-displaced natural animal eats fresh, wild, fresh growing food basically speaking except for maybe looking eating a bit of fruits that fell off the ground a few hours ago or maybe a dead animal if you happen to be a true 100% carnivore which we aren't even an omnivore. Omnivores can eat as much animal products and fat as they want and don't get any heart disease. Why? Because they're an omnivore. We try to eat the same, we get heart attacks, strokes, frozen up the brain, blood clots, arterial placking, stents, operations in the heart, can't get an erection, impotence. It sounds like so much fun, doesn't it? And why? Oh, because we like the taste of it. Or is it because maybe we're addicted? it's because we're addicted and because brainwashed and the medical industry like tricked you <laughs> such a good game this is to learn all this stuff and then to make new decisions isn't it how hard is it to make new choices I'm gonna do my rest of my family aren't doing oh my god it's scary is it I'm a rebel I'm a way shower and I want people to make their own decisions and not to live off the previous generations and ancestral traumas inherited drug addicts or inherited alcoholism or inherited like bulliness or inheriting abandonment abandonment you keep continuing the same old things over and over again that your ancestors and parents did and parents parents neglecting self hurting whatever the case may be or abuse emotional abandonment we are high and I felt this high when I stopped Bogging myself down with unhealthy, destructive and poisonous habits. F not only food, any habits. Basically habits of non-self-love, either self-abandonment, self-destructiveness, self-neglect, not self-nurture. So I learned this, I'm going to put a video here, my, my most popular video the last while. How to actually practice, actually practice self-love. You're going to like that video. So when you stop getting in your way it's like we are a ball of sun, we are actually light, the soul, the only way we say you're a soul, soul is Spanish and Latin for light, we are light, we are light beings, we are soul, we are luminous beings of light, and light and like are high vibrational words, and when you look at someone you actually do emit light, 
That's when you say, I light you, I like you, I light. You're shining your light, your gaze, your attention, your fix, your focus. You're literally lighting somebody with your light. The laser light beams from your eyes. Um, the seat of the soul, the pineal gland. Many people who have crown chakra burst pineal awakenings, they see a big white light in the head. Guess what? So did I. A few, two, three weeks ago. I saw two of them. A week apart. But I haven't had a full pineal opening, but it is awakening and I am decalcifying it. I've never made a video on that, but I will. So the natural high, okay? I've been naturally high. Not always. Sometimes I'm tired. Sometimes I don't get a good sleep. Sometimes I neglect myself and go to bed too late. Sometimes I eat some junk food. Oh my God. Yes. But overall, eating 95% raw at least in the last almost two months. Many days I've done 100% raw. I'm hitting the lemons, which are extremely cleansing. The, 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 the ore, the golden liquid, the ore, your own natural distilled water. That powerful stuff. Cleansing, nutrifying. Herbs. I'm taking my daily herbs and they're very fortifying. I also take cleansing herbs. Some blood root, poke root capsules. They're very strong and some heal all tea. So have a look at my herb shop also if you're interested. Um, I do tonic herbs and superfoods and enzymes which are very, very beneficial. My most recent addition is this one. Here's some of my own foods up there. Superfoods. This is my own wild green superfood powder, by the way, guys. I made that. It's a kick-ass superfood powder. I made from like a big handful, maybe 15 wild greens that I picked in the Irish countryside myself last year. This is uh, the super smoothie mix. Oh, man, this smells so good, guys. I'd recommend getting this, trying it out. Tastes delicious. Tastes like mesquite. Oh, the smell. Oh. So I have this in a 250 gram and a 1 kg, but anyway, just all the links are below guys. I have a super formula, a super green formula with herbs thrown in, herbs and tonic herbs, superfoods. Um, but anyway, I'll, I just want to say, I'll get back to my topic, which mainly is self-nurture and when you stop making all the decisions that keep low, like we're light and it's like we keep lowering every single day, lower, 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 lower. We keep It's trying to get up all the time. We wake up, we feel better, we've, we've restored and regenerated. <gasps> Maybe feeling better, more energy, we have a shower, it's like water therapy. But then what do we do? We do something to the extreme, either imbalance, too little or too, too much. It could be mentally, emotionally, psychologically, culturally, physiological self-neglect to a degree, abandoning our needs or not even understanding our needs to a degree. But actually, if we just stop getting out of the way, we're going to be naturally high. I've experienced this. I've experienced illumining, illuminescent white flashes in my brain, my head, my awakening of my pineal gland, and just naturally high. Some days more than others. Some days it's proper real high. Other days, not really, but pretty good. Like, overall very good. So, I hope this video helped. Subscribe if you're new. Share the video, please. Like the button, the, just the like button below if you've liked it. It makes this video more in the search engines and I'd really love and appreciate my channel to get more popular and my videos to reach more people because I put in so much time and effort making, editing, uploading, putting in the description, sharing, release, everything. There's a lot of time and effort I put into these. It's my work, my passionate work. I do it with pure heart to help myself and the planet help people, individual people. I've suffered loads in this life. I've suffered massively for a 33 year old. Now, I've healed enormously. I've grown up and matured spiritually enormously compared to most of the people on the planet anyway. I don't know how compared to some other really highly advanced planets. <laughs> I'd probably be one of the most more clogged physically anyway. I know that I'd say my heart would be just as much open and as much as the rest of them and spiritually connected to. But when it comes to physical, yeah, I still have a bit of work to do to unpoison and unplug myself. But it's all fun and games, guys. Send you love and please leave a comment below. Let me know if you liked the video and if you have any questions or input that you want to share to your experiences or anything really cool, awesome, high vibe, bright, positive or appreciative or grateful. I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to maybe show this to your friends or family. Share the word, guys. I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot. I'll see you again in another video and thank you for sharing your time with me. God bless. Heart wishes. Love you and have a great day.